Hello students. So welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to study about photorespiration. Photorespiration is also known as photosynthetic carbon oxidation cycle. Remember in the previous video, we studied Kelvin cycle is known as photosynthetic carbon reduction cycle. So Kelvin cycle is known as PCR cycle and photorespiration is known as PCO cycle. In this, the first stable product will be of two carbon. So we will say this cycle is also known as C2 cycle. And that C2 means two carbon compound is glycolate. So we will say this is glycolate cycle also. Now, why the plant is doing it? Because this is a characteristic feature shown by the C3 plant only. This cycle will be performed by C3 plant. And they will perform this cycle under few conditions, just like high temperature, high light intensity and high oxygen. Now understand the concept. See, in most plants, the initial fixation is done with the help of an enzyme, Rubisco. Now this Rubisco is having affinity for both carbon dioxide and oxygen. So what this Rubisco will do, it will add carbon dioxide to RUBP. And in C3 plant, in general, it will make the first organic compound, which is of three carbon. And we see three carbon compound as three phosphoglyceric acid. For example, rice plant, wheat, and soya bean are the C3 plants, which are very important. But under hot and dry condition, when their stomata are partially closed, then C3 plants are not able to do the biosynthetic pathway. And what happened, decline is going on of the carbon dioxide. Rubisco is an enzyme which is having the active site for both carbon dioxide and oxygen. So what happens generally when carbon dioxide and oxygen is equal, that time Rubisco has more affinity for carbon dioxide. But when carbon dioxide becomes less, and is less, why? Because of the hot climate and dry condition. So what happens? Oxygen concentration increase and Rubisco bind oxygen to RUBP means instead of carbon dioxide binding, oxygen is binding to RUBP. This five carbon compound will split into two carbon compound and three carbon compound. Is it clear? Now to perform this two carbon compound, which is made as phosphoglycolate will be given to the another cell organelle that is mitochondria through peroxisome. So three organelles are used in sequence, chloroplast, peroxisome, and mitochondria. So this process, which is occurring in the started in the chloroplast, and it is using oxygen, but in mitochondria, carbon dioxide is liberated. We say this process as photorespiration. And it is characteristic of C3 plant because it occurs in the presence of light, photo and it consume oxygen and produce carbon dioxide like respiration. But it is not a cell respiration, okay? Because cell respiration will produce ATP, but photorespiration will use ATP. Is it clear? It will not produce, it will use ATP. Another, you can't say it is photosynthesis also. Why? Because there is no sugar formation is going on. Now see the steps in the next diagram. See here, RUBP, this is a five carbon compound, is combining with oxygen to form three carbon compound, that is PGE and phosphoglycolate, two carbon compound. Phosphate is removed and glycolate is given to another cell organelle. So this first reaction was occurring in chloroplast and glycolate is given to the peroxisome, where the glycolate after the addition of oxygen will change to glycosylate. Please learn oxidase is a marker enzyme of peroxisome and peroxide formation is done, which is then changing into glycine, which is the simplest amino acid and glycine is coming from glutamic acid and formation of glycine is done and here alpha ketoglutaric acid, transamination. This process is known as transamination in which amine group is transferred from one amino acid to another keto acid to make another amino acid. Glycine, which is the simplest amino acid, is given to next cell organelle mitochondria. 
where two molecules of glycine will make one molecule of serine. And during the formation of serine, carbon dioxide is liberated, ammonia is also liberated, and NADH formation is done. Serine, after coming back to the peroxisome, will again changes alpha ketoglutaric acid to glutamic acid, and it will make hydroxypyruvate. Hydroxypyruvate, after taking reducing hydrogen from NADH, it will change into glycerate. Glycerate is given to chloroplast, which will change into PGA to perform C3 cycle. Is it clear, Peter? So this is a photorespiration. Why? Because oxygen is entering and carbon dioxide is coming out and plant is forced to do this work under few conditions that is high temperature, high light intensity, high oxygen. So these are the conditions necessary for photorespiration and it leads to 25% loss of the fixed carbon dioxide. It is also known as Warburg effect, means it is an effect in which there is decrease in the rate of photosynthesis by high oxygen concentration. Oxygen is a competitive inhibitor of carbon dioxide fixation by Rubisco and it promotes photorespiration so that photosynthetic output is decreased. So plants are, which are surviving in the hot and dry conditions, C3 plant has to do C2 cycle, that is photorespiration. So plant will develop another strategy to survive in the hot climate condition and they will develop another pathway that is C4 pathway. We'll be studying that pathway in the next video. Thanks for watching. I hope this video has helped you to understand the concept why C3 plants are performing C2 cycle and what C2 cycle is. Thanks for watching.